Government of Kenya and her Israel counterpart today sign a memorandum of understanding MOU that will provide a framework of collaboration to improve delivery of education services to children in basic education institutions. Cabinet Secretary for Education Dr. Fred Matiangi signed the MOU on behalf of the Kenyan government while Israel Ambassador to Kenya Yahel Velan. Dr. Matiangi thanked the Israel government for the support it is giving to Kenya, particularly in education. We want to thank our cabinet secretary for coming. We know how busy he is now. We thank God for you. We we'll pray for you, Dr. Fred Matiangi, so that you have energy to serve this country. We also want to thank you, sir, because of support we have continued to give semester in terms of even resources to give to our school. It is your own thinking, sir, that we started the STEM schools. And I think this is the direction in the whole world. So we want to thank you for your insight. And I think that's the journey we have started today. And a journey we started when you launched the first 47 schools. Sir, this morning, and we have requested you to come and uh, launch, give equipment to the first 47 schools, and then you launch the second uh, 47 school. So we are requesting you that uh, would wish that we work with these 94 schools first. We want to work with them so that we go and uh, see, we see whether there's our STEM schools in Kenya can be able to reach the STEM schools in other developed countries. So we want to thank you and thank the ministry because of the resources we are putting in our STEM school. Sir, many people keep on asking me, what is this, that, what is a STEM school? And we have an elaborate uh, program for training the teachers in the STEM schools, training the principals, because we want to earn in a STEM schools where children have interest in science. That's one thing that we want to do. The other thing we also want to see a school that's able to manage resources. A school that is managing resources. Because when you talk of ESD, a STEM schools we won't even to see that uh, electricity bill is going down because of the physics. We want to see how you manage your waste. Those are some of the things we want to see in our, in our STEM schools. The other one is with the Global Peace Foundation. We are also requesting that we put, we put a program of values in our STEM schools. We don't want the cabinet secretary to come here, we give resources, and then tomorrow they are not there. Tomorrow they are destroyed. It's not possible. We can't have that circle that we call schools today. We, we, the ministry give money, we give you. Tomorrow those, those resources are not there. So we are asking that uh, we inculcate values to our children. And that's something that we are going to work. The other one is that uh, there are some uh, equipment, sir, that we have been giving to school. And sometimes when we go around to see how math and science is being taught, then we find those equipment are put somewhere safe, in a corner. I think that is also not the idea, that they remain clean in a corner. Some of equipment, you are aware JICA gave our, our insect centers equipment, some of them have remained without being used from 205. They have become obsolete when already new in, in, in boxes. I think let the children, when we are talking of STEM, is hard on. Let the children use those facilities, let them break it down when the students are using. I think that is what we want. So we want to wish you well. We'll have we'll continue with the program. We want to thank you, sir, because of, uh, of that support. Our cabinet secretary, Dr. Fred Matiangi, my colleagues from the sector, our teachers who are here today, and all of us who are here. When we saw, when we went through what is being given to each of our schools, you appreciate the focus. 
and the leadership so that some of our key players in the <coughs> sector is giving us. I would want to most sincerely thank Wananjeroge for the good work that he's doing and for the innovative ways that we are looking at ways in which we would want to improve our education in our schools. It's only three years ago that we accepted to be able to be channeling certain resources through this institution and we are now trying, we are now seeing and appreciating the good work that they are doing and that they have gone ahead to be able to make savings, savings that have been able to do what we have seen today. Governor Secretary will be mentioning one or two things and I think as ministry we shall also be, we shall also be rethinking some of the resources that are with us and thinking whether we can be channeling through some of our institution, an institution that can give us value for the Kenyan money that we put to use in our schools. So once again, Guananjiroge, I would want to thank you for the good work that you are doing and the focus that you are putting into the resources that we give to you. CS, I'm aware that we still have one more meeting to engage ourselves immediately after this, and I would not want to take much more time. I would only want to commit ourselves as a sector that we shall stretch the resources that we have so that we can be able to optimize and ensure that our children benefit and stretch the shilling that we give to our schools as much as we can to ensure that our children derive benefit from the taxpayers' money that is pestled to ourselves in the education sector. So with those few remarks, it's now my humble duty to invite you to make your comments so that we can be able to move to the next meeting. Karibu wasi. Uh, my brother and my colleague, our PS, Dr. Belio Kipsang, uh, Bonanjeroge and the, the Sevastaya community, and all of you, my colleagues from the sector. Uh, first of all, it, it's, it's a, a pleasure to see all of you again and uh, particularly to meet uh, my colleagues from the field, the county directors, the regional coordinators, sub-county directors who are here, both uh, from Jubo and our TSC colleagues uh, who are around. I'm very, very grateful to see you because meetings such as this also provide us an opportunity to share our or two. Therefore, we don't take them for, for granted. Um, I want to join the peers, first of all, in thanking uh, Semastea and thanking uh, Njoroge for a solid leadership. This is really what we call effective and good management. This is one of the institutions, um, and you know, I, I have always say things sincerely as they are. This is one of the institutions that we are very happy and proud of because of the way in which it's run and the way it's managed. And I, I wish all our education sector institutions, especially the, the sagas were run this way because then we would be able to achieve uh, a lot. But we are going to do our best. We will not uh, whine and mourn. We will do what we have to do to ensure that uh, things work right. Uh, so Njoroge and my colleagues from Semastea, I'm very proud of you and uh, I, I thank you for, for what you have been able to achieve. I remember when we were here last year, I, you, you had saved 32 million and I told you we can save more and then do more for our schools. So uh, I am happy that you have been able to save 58 million from the 32 million last year. And that, I know what I'm about to say is not one of the most popular things to say uh, to public servants, but let me say it anyway. It, it shows that if we managed ourselves sensibly and avoided the wastage that we engage in, the kind of nonsensical things we do, paying each other, by, you know, going to jamborees, per diem, and so on, we can actually get, save the resources we have been given and do the right things for our children. Because God has given us children to raise and help grow. So instead of eating that money in wasteful things and wasting the money, we should also be mindful, and especially we teachers, more mindful about our children and ensure that we... You know, we save every shilling to make sure that it takes us an extra mile and we help our children uh, acquire uh, education. Because I'm sure the, the equipment we are now giving here to schools is going to make a big difference uh, in those schools that we, we, we are supporting. My colleagues, the principals who are here, they are going to have some of their burdens, uh, you know, uh, alleviated because 
they are going to get equipment they can use uh, to teach in the schools. And that is the way we should go. We should always think about how can we improve? How can we improve the teaching in our schools? How can we improve how we deliver content? What is that that we can do to do to be better than we were last year as, as we go along? And, and uh, I dare say we should think like Semester, you know, think the way these good people in Semester are thinking. How can we change things and then uh, improve? And because of that, uh, P.S., I want to say it here openly, that money that we have, the 258 million, that one for science equipment, we'll give it to Semester so that they can now channel the, the, the school equipment. Because we can see clearly that you are honest people, you do a good job, and instead of us engaging in some bureaucracy where occasionally we may actually lose money in the process, then since you guys uh, know how to do this thing and you're doing it well, so we carry on. We just bring that money, we give you the 258 million, you add on to this one, so that we can see more schools benefiting as we go along. The, 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 the next challenge I want to give you, and, and I told you, Bananjaroka, is that I would like us now to do an assessment, to evaluate the impact of what we are doing. Uh, and Banakavisi, you are here from TSC. Uh, we would like to know those schools that hide the things instead of using them to teach, <laughs> so that we all use them for display yeah. instead of uh, using them to teach, so that we, we they become a basis of evaluating and assessing our teachers. And you know, this project is also about about leadership, the leadership yeah. in the schools, uh, because we are not just preparing a science teaching; we are also looking at how we can improve the professionalism in the science teachers because the teachers from these schools also are exposed to training. Then we look at our colleagues who are heading these institutions. How are we managing this as we move forward? So I would be interested myself in an assessment that we do some sort of evaluation in these schools that we are supporting. Has life changed? And how has it changed? And the, then, then there are so many uh, ways of uh, indicating that change the performance of the learners, the acceptance of, um, uh, uh, you know, the sciences in the schools, the teaching of science and mathematics in the schools. We can even measure the impact of these 94 schools we are supporting in their environment. Have they impacted on the schools around them? Do they have interactions with schools around them? And has our support made a difference? Because if you are in a, a, in, in a school in Voi, and there are about two or three other schools around. Have you had impact uh, in, 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 the, in the schools around? That, that's what we, we need to do. So, so I think this is, this is wonderful. And uh, I want to thank you, um, my colleagues uh, in Semester. I want to thank you, uh, my colleagues who are here from uh, the field, uh, our officials, uh, both TSC and, and uh, the ministry. I'm, I'm really grateful for, for the work that you are doing. And since we have uh, the... Um, uh, principals here, uh, my good friend and brother and Dimulis here and uh, Kesha, I, I want you to know I'm really grateful because you can see yourselves that uh, this second term is more peaceful than last year's second term. <laughs> uh, we, uh, except for one or two cases, I was telling Jeb Kawai about that dead girls business where boys walked from another school and went to sleep in a dormitory, girls dormitory in another school which should be investigated, and I can assure you I'll follow up that matter myself. People must take responsibility for those kinds of things. Because those children are not in school alone. There must be somebody there who wasn't watching when these things were happening. We have to be very serious about the job we have been given to do. But other than that, I think by and large, uh, you principals have really worked hard. And we, we have to be very honest and, and thank you, uh, Banandimuli and your colleagues, for the work that you do. I thank my colleagues uh, uh, from the field. Our constant contact and interaction is beginning to yield uh, positive results. We, we can see that we are solving some of our uh, issues faster than, 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 than in the past. And I want us to, to move forward on that positive trajectory that, you know, we can basically resolve, uh, you know, any issues that we come across uh, working together as a team and improve uh, the education of our children. As, as we move forward. And if we continue this way, my brothers and sisters, I want to tell you honestly, if we, if we continue working this way, the way we have been working uh, last time, this time, if we continue working this way, then we are actually on the way to uh, completely transforming 
um, our sector and improving it rapidly so that we, we occupy our rightful position that we have always occupied as a solid and credible education sector, uh, not just in the region, but on the continent and in the globe. So I thank every one of you uh, for the efforts that you have put. My colleagues from the TSC, Banakavisi, we are so grateful about our collaboration and our relationship. Uh, everywhere I've gone in the field, I've seen our county directors, both TSC and uh, Jogo, working very closely. That is the way it should be. We, and, and please, let's not walk back on this. That is the way we should be. We should speak one language, uh, read from the same script, uh, approach uh, issues consultatively, work one with another, because after all, uh, you know, this country is, is, is ours, and there's no reason why we should not consult one another on issues. And where there's a problem, we resolve it. And I want us now to step up again to the higher level of management, where we even uh, deal with our principals on a very strongly consultative basis where we facilitate them to run the schools, uh, you know, as it were. We, we shouldn't adopt a policeman's mentality when it comes to uh, correcting the things we want to correct around. Because, you know, when all is said and done, we, we are in this sector together. Things are hard enough sometimes. Uh, but, but when we talk and, and consult, we achieve more, uh, as it were. I have learned a lot myself. Uh, from conversations with our principals and our colleagues in the field. So that's the way we will be. I will say the rest about what we are going to do with the exams and so on in the next meeting. But I think I'm very grateful. And uh, for the principals from the schools that are receiving this equipment, now we will follow up. And Joroga, I agree with your proposal. Let us stay with the 94 schools for the time being and see how they, <clears throat> they perform. But we can look at other savings that we will make. The PS and I will look at even the ministry, look at our budget and see if we can make some more savings and see if by next year we can actually add a few more schools as it were. Because you see, the number of schools is also dictated by the amount of money that we have. But so far, so good. So if we stay on this trajectory, we are headed the right direction. So let us stay on this course, my friends, uh, because this is the way I think uh, we should manage the sector. God bless you. Thank you. Stringent measures have been put in place to curb examination irregularities. Speaking at Semastia, the cabinet secretary said that the ministry is determined to enhance the preparation for the 2017 Kenya Certificate of Primary Education (KCPE) and the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education (KCSE) to ensure the government continues to improve the credibility of examination system. A total of 1,003,556 candidates were registered for the KCPE, while 615,773 were registered for KCSC. There will be 28,566 examination center for the KCPE and 9,350 for the KCSC. A total of 6,037 KCPE and 7,001 KCSC private candidates were registered in 2017. The CS further said that the ministry has procured 67 additional containers to be used in new sub counties and other vast areas whose terrain called for additional containers. This will ensure the ministry seamlessly distributes examination materials. He also cautioned the Kenya National Examination Council, examiners and other council officials against going around schools purporting to coach candidates on how to answer questions. The schools will close by October 29 and it is only candidates who will be allowed in school during the exams. Deputy head teachers can also remain in school to assist their head teachers who act as center managers. However, where a school has more than one deputy, only one of the deputies can be in the school at any given time. <laughs> <laughs>